personal tax season again, which means that for a lot of you out there, you're scrambling to find those receipts and you're scrambling to make up those mileage logs um, so that you can claim them on your tax return. I have two apps today that I wanna show you guys that are incredibly handy to use. It's gonna save you a ton of headache, a ton of time, and you're gonna thank me for it later. Unfortunately for some of you, um, it's gonna to come too late for your 2018 tax return, but for your 2019, um, start using it now. This will save you so much wasted energy. So the two things I'm gonna show you, uh, one of them is for keeping track of your mileage, and the other one is for keeping track of your receipts and generating expense reports. So the first one is called Trip Log. It's for keeping track of your mileage. This app is actually free to use on the very basic version. So what it does is if you travel a lot for business, so if you're in sales and you're always going to client's office, you're always driving for business reasons every day, what this app does is it starts to record your trips as soon as your car goes over five kilometers an hour. So if you're driving around town all day, it'll track all those trips. Then at the end of the day, all you have to do is go through them and click off which ones for personal and which ones for business. That's all you have to do. It stores the rest. If you drive infrequently for business reasons, then you don't have to do this. All you have to do is click off when you're leaving to start a, a business trip and when you get there and then it'll just record that so i actually did a quick little demo to show how easy it is to use i drove out to a client's office and i just want to show you guys uh, what it was able to do so right here this is just showing um, the entire uh, my trips for that day and so i just clicked off what was personal and what was business and that's all i had to do um, very very simple so now this is going to be, um, this is basically going to keep track of everything. And at the end of the month or the end of the tax year, all I have to do is I can send that report either to my employer to get reimbursed or I can send it to my accountant for my uh, tax return. And it's handy for a couple of reasons. The first is that don't have to worry about writing down those kilometers on a piece of paper anymore and risk losing it and then forgetting that you drove those kilometers and not being able to get reimbursed or um, being able to deduct it. The second is that if CRA ever comes back in three years from now and is questioning about your mileage that you deduct from your tax return, well, now you can easily show that these were my exact trips. Um, and there's even a little handy function where you can write down what the exact reason for that trip was, who the client was. And so uh, I really like this app because it's free and it's very, very, very easy to use. You can just have it running in the background all the time if you're busy or if you're not, it's very easy to start and stop a trip. And then you can also put in things like parking um, and other expenses to do with driving and it'll just keep track of everything there. And then it's very easy to um, export that report either to your employer or to your accountant um, you can just send it to them. You can say, these are the kilometers I drove. Um, and that's all you have to do. Very minimal involvement. The second one um, I want to show you is for keeping track of your receipts. This is the biggest headache for, for my clients, I find. And also for, your, for creating expense reports. And it's called Receipt Bank. So this is taking the accounting world by storm, Receipt Bank, and it's awesome. It's incredible to use. The downside of Receipt Bank, um, just off the get-go, is if you don't have an accountant, um, it costs you about $29 per month to use on the basic version. But if you do have an accountant who has a Receipt Bank um, subscription and Receipt Bank license, it's very, very uh, cheap to use um, for yourself. So what Receipt Bank does, um, the best way I can describe it, I went out for lunch on Friday. I went to Cactus Club right down the street, uh, very good chicken. Uh, I paid for the, for the lunch, I went with a client. All I had to do was I took a picture of my receipt. So before, I know a lot of you out there, if you got a receipt, you would store it in a box somewhere. And then at the end of tax season, you would get that box out and you would just put it on your accountant's desk. Or if you're employed, you'd have to go every month, go through those receipts, 
Matt and then make an expense report. Spend all Saturday doing this, and it's a major headache. Or you give this box to your accountant, like I said, and your accountant would charge you high rates to go through those receipts because it is time consuming. But now this allows you just to take a picture of the receipt. The receipt gets stored on Receipt Bank, and Receipt Bank will do some magic and it will categorize the receipt. So what the amount was, what the date was, um, what it was for, so meals and entertainment. And that's all you have to do. And so um, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So this is my receipt bank account. Um, I uploaded my receipt. It did its magic, it categorized how much it was, uh, what expense it was. And so this would be what it would look like um, for an employee or for a, a, a business owner. Um, so you would have things like supplies, um, repairs, meals, you'd have everything on here. And then come the end of the month or tax season, um, if you're employed, you would just click off everything that you want to include on your expense report and you would send it off to your employer. Um, and if you're self-employed, you would then send this expense report to your accountant and say, um, this, these are all my deductions for the year. And again, it's extremely handy. It's extremely easy to use. Now, the expense report um, looks good. Um, it's easy for the employers to use. Um, and so what are the benefits of Receipt Bank? Uh, the first one, as you can see, it's incredibly handy to use. You don't have to be uh, maintaining and keeping track of your receipts anymore. Um, you just have to take a picture and you can forget about it. The second benefit, um, yeah, you're not gonna lose those receipts. So before, if you're an employee and you lost that receipt, well, now you can't get that deduction or you can't get that reimbursement again. And if you are self-employed, well, if you forgot that receipt, now you just lost that tax deduction. Uh, it's also handy because if you're self-employed and you have an accountant, now you save a whole bunch of time and money, um, professional fees specifically, because your accountant does not have to go through and sort your receipts now and, and do everything themselves. Now it just automatically gets generated. So your professional fees, your accounting fees are gonna go down considerably and this makes an accountant's life a lot better too as well. So they don't mind giving up those, those fees. And the last reason why it's, I think it's so good is coming back to CRA. If CRA ever audits you for expense deductions on your tax return um, three years down the road, instead of pulling your hair out, trying to find those receipts from three years ago to justify those deductions, now you can just easily go on your uh, receipt bank account and you can just click off the exact ones of um, what expenses they're looking for. And then Receipt Bank maintains that image. So you can just send that right to CRA um, and they'll be off your back. And so I think that both of these, uh, Triplog and Receipt Bank, are incredible. Um, I think it's such a time savings. Um, and it's also a big help because CRA audits are becoming increasingly aggressive and more prevalent. And so if you get questioned by CRA on your mileage or for um, receipts, this can take you so much time, it's so much pain and misery, and it's taking away from you actually doing stuff that makes you money. So I would recommend that people get both of these at a minimum. This will make your life so much easier. Your accountant will love you. Um, your family will love you because they're gonna see you a lot more. You're not gonna be making expense reports on yourself, uh, by yourself um, on a Saturday. This does it all for you. Um, with Receipt Bank, if you have an accountant who has a, a license, it's very cost effective. If for Triplog, it's free. So if people don't get this, they're putting themselves through more misery than they should. So that's for today, that's kind of, I just wanted to, to show people that. Um, if for your 2018 taxes, you can still use this. Um, you can still use this, you can still, um, incorporate this for 2018, but for 2019, there should be no excuses. If you're pulling your hair out now, um, you should switch to this as fast as possible and make your 2019 a lot better. Um, so thank you very much uh, for your time.